But first, Sports Director Paul Gerke and Roland Barris are in Dayton tonight to kick off our team coverage of the Broncos' trip to the Big Dance. Well, it wasn't easy, but we made it to beautiful Dayton, Ohio, ahead of the team, which is supposed to arrive later on tonight. Yeah, that's right. The Broncos are actually going to take a day to get settled in before they start practicing in preparation for their matchup with the Sal. Coach Rice knew yesterday when the brackets were announced that this was going to be a quick turnaround. The beauty of it is Mark Coyle and his administration. Mark's been through this a lot, so I don't have to worry about anything other than coaching the game and, and help, helping my uh, staff prepare. And, you know, we're scrambling, getting our scouting reports, getting our film organized. And it's, it's such a short turnaround. They don't know much about us. We don't know much about them. But I think it's two teams that play exciting brand of basketball. It's going to be a fun game to watch. The Broncos have been nearly unstoppable at home this season, going 14-1. and one. A great record, but, you know, Coach Rice is not concerned about playing away from Taco Bell Arena. They're just whoever gets hot. You know, the NCAA tournament is about matchups and, and which team can play confident and hot. And, uh, you know, I know they, they've got a lot of good players. They really they get up and down. They score a lot of points. Once the Boise State basketball team arrives, they'll take tonight to themselves before appearing in front of the media for the first time tomorrow at about 1130 Mountain Time and then hosting an open practice right here at the University of Dayton after that. All right, we'll have highlights of all that. Of course, we're hoping for better weather tomorrow and hopefully tracking down the Boise State fans as they arrive in town. They didn't get up at 5 o'clock this morning like <laughs> we did to come in here and catch that early flight. So, reporting from Dayton, Ohio, Roland Barris and Paul Gerke, Idaho on your side.